God damn it. This is fucking horrible, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. That's my kid. So we come out of the alley and uh, we post up by the trees right there real quick on the other side of the street because I wanted to see if people were scheming on my shit, right? Oh, shit, we were all just hemmed up there, right? You know, like had a barrier from the gym to the barber shop, And uh, there's probably like five of us out there posted up. They were trying to break in the side by us. Who started letting off shots, so they all ran off. Like my homie owns a, a pizza shop right here. Melanio's Pizza, he um, he opened up his pizza shop right here and he called me, he was like, yo, Chai, you boring up your shit? And I'm like, nah, man, I'm gonna go down there. And he's like, dog, don't go down there. He's like, you didn't see what happened to that fool in Texas? I'm like, I don't give a fuck, dude. I was like, I'm not gonna, there's no way in hell that people are gonna fucking break into the gym or vandalize the gym, you know? You know, I ain't gonna let him do that. And we're standing there guarding our shit. We see this mob of people running down Pine and we could already see how they're like huddling in front of Pine of that. So two minutes later, the cops roll up because of the gunshots probably. They roll up and start shooting at the crowd and we're standing there. They start shooting at us because we're all standing in front of our shit, right? <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, man. So we, we ducked in the barber shop, the cops left. After the cops left, oh man, the, the fucking, the mob doubles, they fucking are fucking looting the shit. Man, you should have seen it, dude. Everybody was on high alert right there. Oh, the cops already dip off the second mob comes. Then a fleet of cops come, fucking pull up while the looting is going on and then dip off. This other unmarked truck comes rolling up, like just runs up onto the curb and starts dumping like an automatic rubber bullet gun or some shit. And the dude jumped out of the sunroof and just started dumping. He was like, doo, doo, doo. and I was like, is he shooting? And then Robert pushed me, he's all, get in, he's shooting. And I like, must have ducked right in time because Arnold was like, yeah, he's shooting. And then he ran off the other way. And then we thought, you know, I thought we weathered the motherfucking storm, man, it was crazy. Crazy how many waves of people came through. Then the fucking crowd comes back like triple as big. That store got looted in like five minutes. Then they start pulling out all the mannequins and shit and throwing them into the f street to try to create a barricade so cars can't get through. Uh, and we're just all standing there in front of our shit, you know what I mean? The way that people were doing it, they had multiple people around certain areas calling and like, come here, come here, come here. Because you could see swarms of cars. Dude, I seen how it was done firsthand, dude. Fucking swarms of cars pulling up. 
Looting, 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 dipping out. They had people tracking shit. People were driving around. They had specific people for breaking the fucking windows, breaking the locks. They had specific people for running and grabbing shit. They had drivers. It was a system. Everybody had a system. Like, I mean, it was efficient if you're doing some fucking smash and grab shit, but we're just all chilling out there. And that's when the fools threw the fucking cocktails and then the cops came back. And then I was like, I think they fucking just threw something in the fucking thing. And then that's when he ran over there and he's like, shit, it's on fire. And I was like, hey, where's your fire extinguisher? I, I stayed and watched the building fucking f f burn. And then it just got too smoky. And then I couldn't breathe. And I was just like, I already seen the gym burn. I'm like, fuck it, let's just go, man. So sorry. Oh my God. That was the most disheartening moment of the whole shit was feeling defeated after I thought I had saved the gym, you know what I mean? And being out there and going through, you know, being at, on high alert to fucking having to run from the cops shooting at us, go, going back to being on even higher alert, and then to feel like we have had accomplished what we set out to do, and that, that we were all clowning after that, dude. Like, <clears throat> when that caravan of cops came and everybody left and, like, there was nobody there after, we were fucking all clowning right there, laughing with the fucking... Even the barber, we we're all clowning. And we're talking about like, dude, that five hour period could have been a fuck, could be a movie. That shit we just experienced could have been a fucking two hour movie. And it would have been like some crazy action packed shit. You, you'll never experience anything like that unless you're in that shit with the intent on protecting your shit that the masses want to ruin. You know, when you're, in a, when you're in a war or a battle, you know who the fucking enemy is, dude. When you fucking are sitting in a fucking crowd of just fucking madness, people bashing shit for no apparent reason, like, you don't know who the fuck is. You, everybody, you know? Thousands of people are fucking the people you gotta, you don't know where the fucking shit's coming at. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what angle people are fucking coming, people are creeping from this way, this way. If I hadn't have gone out there and, and shit didn't end up like it did, I would have never been able to live with myself. That would have been a, one of the biggest regrets of my life, you know what I'm saying? We, we thought we were done, man. We thought we fucking saved the gym, man. But I didn't bite the bullet that time, so oh. hey, still here. residents we came out today to do a little clean up on the streets i came by seventh and pine where the 10th planet long beach is and this is what i encounter right now these are small business owners these are not big chains 
the fact that you have a, a gym left like this, it's horrifying. I want to make sure that they're going to pick it up, build bigger and better, and I know our community will come behind this and make sure that they're going to be okay in the end. No one should be walking into their gym and seeing something like this. This is absolutely awful and despicable. And these people are not protesters. They're not the people that are doing good things. These are the people that are just trying to come around here and just fuck shit up. And that is not okay. I, um, this is just heartbreaking. I mean, they lost everything. I know for a fact that our community will come together and make sure that they will be able to rebuild again. This is not good. This is not good at all. And these brothers and sisters of us from 10th Planet, um, Long Beach, will need our help. And I know for sure we're going to come together and make sure we make it happen for them. I'll see you guys soon. This is not okay. Not okay. Broadway, Look at this. Escalon. Look at this. Brea is going off now. No justice. What is this? It, you know, it kind of reminds me of like some shit, like a like a zombie apocalypse, like The Walking Dead type oh. shit. You know, is this person gonna? bring their attention towards me and, and fucking roll up all these other people. You know, it's just like, really, I don't think people are ready to die yet, you know? But how long is the anger gonna last? And when are people gonna be ready to die? Cause then it's gonna be really crazy, you know? It's just gonna get really crazy. There's gonna be gunfights in the street. It's gonna be fucking some wild shit. You know, and maybe I just, feel this way because I was out there. Oh, fuck, dude. I was in the thick of this shit, man. It worked in riling everybody up, yeah. that's for sure. Because all I needed was this dude getting killed and bam, yeah, exactly. there's a fucking... Look at this shit, dude. This, ain't not, this is happening all over America, dude. This ain't just happening in L.A. They're not, they're not ready to die. That's like I said, dude. They're not ready to die. When motherfuckers are ready to die because they're really hungry, Cause right now everybody's getting stimulus checks, unemployment. What happens when that runs out? And all the grocery stores are looted. 